Welcome everybody to the Alternative Sports Show on the road. Dre, we are at the Oval. It's cricket season here, all thanks to the 100, and there's a lot of exciting things going down. Why are we here, Dre? Well, we're here to celebrate is the countdown of only 50 days to go till the actual competition starts. This is, you know, for me, being an American sports fan, so American-esque, which is really cool because you've obviously got loads of different teams, different colours, different even sponsors we were talking about. Shout out, Skips. Big up. <laughs> and, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, equivalent to like an all-star game. So men and women, same day, same pay. What's, what's not to like? It all kicks off right here on this hallowed ground, which feels really weird. I don't even know why we're allowed to be here. That's crazy. But Oval Invincibles versus Manchester Originals will be battling here. And the most important thing is kicking off the 100 will be a women's match, which is just about darn time. It's exciting to know that the 100 is finally here this summer. And Dre, it's time for us to learn about cricket. Boom, see you later. <laughs> Sarah Glenn, Trent Rocket, we're 50 days away from the 100. I gotta say, this is very exciting. We've got everyone out here, got all the kids here to learn from you lot. How excited are you that we're so, so close to finally having the 100 start? Yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. It's kind of actually sinking in now that how close it's approaching. And the fact that these kids have come down to do a session and we kind of get to meet them and help them out is just really special. And hopefully the tournament can inspire these young kids to keep playing cricket and it is going to be opened by a women's match, which is unprecedented for any kind of sport. For yourself, I, I can sense from all the interviews I've seen from everyone, it, there is a huge sense of pride. For yourself personally, how important and how great is this? Oh, it's so important. I think the fact that it's not, a, it's not really happened before, and I think the fact that it will inspire a lot of young girls to pick up a cricket bat as well as young boys as well, um, I think that's what makes it so special. And what's great about this for you, Dre, yeah. new format, 100 ball innings, and you're new to the sport, yeah. so this is this is a learning experience, so hopefully, you know, Sarah can help us out here, right? Yeah. I was saying to Sarah that Sarah's going to be the first person to actually get me into cricket, and because of this new format, it's, it's quite more, you know, it's quite exciting, different, you know, it's got a uh, flashy kit and everything. Yeah, well. let me say that again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, most importantly, like, it's, it's uh, you know, equal pay for, for men and women. Like, what's that mean to you? Yeah, I think that's, another, again, really special, kind of, like, the the prize money and things like that. I think I think because we both work so hard and we both go through so much, so I feel like is that unity feel to it as well. And I think with the teams being aligned up as well, that's what kind of gives that unity as well. And, um, you know, obviously you're competing with, you know, all other sports to get, you know, dickheads like me into this sport. You know, so how, how, do, you, how do you think that you're, you guys are going to accomplish that? What's different about this, this particular, you know, competition that's going to draw me in? I think what's special about it, well, first of all, it's a completely new format, so that kind of sparks everyone's interest in terms of how it will work. But also, I think with the men being aligned with the women, it's not kind of you're going to look at a women's or a men's team, it's going to look at Trent Rockets, it's going to look at the Oval Invincibles. That's kind of the vibe to it, I think. And I think it being alive on BBC as well, like all of that kind of everything mashed together, all of it combined, I feel like that's, this is what's giving that special feeling to it. Pretty much. Well, every game is very much being covered, and for the women's game, it's incredible. It's, it's about damn. I mean, this is a crazy thing. There are sports that I love, like MMA, boxing, and there are amazing female athletes. So it's amazing that now everyone can now appreciate and see properly, get the right exposure to really properly see cricket. Of course, Trent Rocket representing here. What is it like? Because of course we had a draft, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, I know yeah, Dre, yeah. you love a draft, Loving NFL it. guy. <laughs> And of course, that's different for cricket. It's something that gets people a bit, you know, fascinated, more intrigued by. For yourself, what is it like, um, you know, teaming up with your colleagues? Men's and women's team have got some great talent. Of course, even Joe Root's on a men's team. So for yes. yourself, how surreal is that? Yeah, it's crazy really, because like growing up, like, obviously I had like female kind of role models as well, but also had male role models. And the fact that we're going to be aligned with both of them is kind of really special. And I think, yeah, it's just, I think it's just crazy kind of how kind of equal it feels it feels like I'm playing for Trent Rockets I'm not playing for a ladies side and I'm hopefully the men feel the same way 
and unfortunately, Dre, um, you're not allowed to get stuck into this. I think we're a little a bit above the age limit, but sh there's some interesting stuff going on down here, isn't there? Yeah, I, honestly, like I, I can see so there's some um, a lot of bowling going on, and I, I, it's bringing me back to my school days. You know, when I actually used to be the captain of my team. Now, there wasn't many people that were playing in my personal school, but nonetheless, I was still the captain. But for kids that are looking to be where you are, yeah. you know, because now you are, you know, you've got so many more eyes on you now. You know, there's going to be lots of you know, kids being like, I want to I be just like Sarah. Yeah. You know, what would your, you know, uh, lessons be or suggestions be for them to be able to get into I think, cricket like you? I think just not to look too far ahead. Like growing up playing cricket, I just played it for fun and because I loved it, played with my friends. And it wasn't until I got quite a bit older, I thought actually I could take this to the next level. Um, so I just think not to look too far ahead and just enjoy the moment at the time and just push yourselves and enjoy it because that, that's what will get you to that next level. Well, Sarah, tell, her, tell us a little bit more in detail about what today is, what's been going on. Just give us a little idea of, you know, from start to finish. I mean, of course, we were showing the kids around, but there's a bit of me today, but it's a busy day for you, right? Yeah, definitely. There's obviously a lot going on, and obviously today celebrates 50 days till the first game, and the fact that it's standalone with the Oval and the Manchester, kind of the women's side of it as well, that's kind of what's making it quite special. And I think kind of the kids being here, like it's kind of, it's, it's all sinking in how close it's approaching, like only 50 days to go. So I think kind of getting these involved and getting to meet these kids, it's, it's like a almost a little window kind of showing what the summer's going to bring, kind of hopefully inspiring a lot of young kids and hope, encouraging them to keep playing cricket. Well, it is certainly very, very exciting. There's one thing actually I do want to ask before we walk yeah, yeah. into the sunset. Every time we, we get to talk to, you know, incredible talent in the sporting world, I always feel very intrigued to say, what does it feel like that you can say I represent England at cricket? That's quite a, I, I don't know if I could, yeah. I wish yeah. I could be an international at something, maybe I'm an international at eating, I yeah. don't know. That's as good as it I gets. I mean, I am as well. But you know, problem, but you it? also have that and being a cricketer and just how important and how incredible is that, you know, not only just as a, as a female, as someone that's super young in this sport, but just being able to, I don't know, have such an incredible, you know, you're already part of something pretty historic. Yeah, I think, I mean, for me, I think it never really sinks in that I say I play for England. Like, I don't think that ever will sink in until I'm older. Uh, but for me, it's just a really proud thing to say because uh, it's something I've wanted for a long time and something like my family know how hard I've pushed for. So, yeah, to me, it's just like, it's quite an emotional thing to like say and brings me a lot of pride. So I kind of hopefully like, young kids can see that and it might inspire them too and hopefully they know that if I can do it then anyone can. Well hopefully thanks to the 100 this is the start of maybe anyone that's watching that hasn't seen cricket or you know maybe it's quite casual can finally get stuck in because of course Oval Invincibles Manchester Originals will be kicking off here opening fixture a women's match was incredible we just want to say Sarah thank you so much enjoy your day enjoy the sun enjoy showing the kids around and yeah, and we're going to be sticking around trying to learn as well. So thank you very much. Yes, no worries. Thank you for having me. Loved it. Thank you. And just like that, our day at the Oval, thanks to the 100, is well and truly over. Dre, it's been quite a special and eye-opening day, I would think, you know? Honestly, you know, it's got me in the mood for cricket. I'm counting down the days now. Again, 50 days to go. What more, what more can we ask for, like, for, for introduction to the sport, to be able to come on this amazing turf? I can't believe they'll let us do this. Me especially, because, you know, again, I'm the newbie to cricket. But, you know what? At the end of this summer, end of the tournament, I'm going to be fully fledged fan. We're going to call him Sir Cricket by the end of the year, <laughs> not Mr Cricket. We're going to upgrade this guy. But nevertheless, it has been truly awesome. Thank you to 100 for inviting Verge and Alternative Sport down to this little shindig. Well, Dre, it is well and truly hot. So let's get the sunglasses on. Got to do it. Get ourselves out of here because this is proper cricket weather. So, bon voyage. <laughs>